Greetings friend, Timberlake here, Smart Hobbies, got a great treat for you, Spaceship by Pia Tile. I think if you look kind of like this way, you can kind of see a spaceship pointing up to the northeast part of the grid, a little bit of uh, the back there, this is kind of the middle. Hopefully, I can see it, I can't see it. Features some of Pia Tile's puzzles before, I even did a collab with Harold Nolte using one of his puzzles. Awesome, awesome job. This one's supposed to be a little bit harder. Uh, than the normal ones I've done before. Thank you, Pietata, for letting me feature your puzzles on my channel. I'll put a link below if you want to try it out ahead of time. And I'm using Hodoku. Some of you keep asking Hodoku to do the solve. I'll be showing all the candidates. And with that, it's solving time. Okay, what do we have here? I'm looking across the top, and you can see there's some limitations up here in this, and it makes sense with the four candidates. Um, is there anything, you know, the fours are kind of pointing. There's a pointing pair of fours, so I can get rid of the four right there. The fours are also a pointing pair or a claiming pair across block one. And again, when I'm doing these solves with showing the candidates, it's a modern software approach. The idea is to eliminate candidates, so there's only one possibility left. So what I'm trying to do is eliminate candidates as I'm moving along the grid. And I do that when I anticipate it's going to be a harder solve, required advanced strategies. Okay, I'm looking across row four now, five, row five, don't see anything. I see one three, so we have a hidden single three right there. It makes sense with the three here, here, and across row five. How does that help us with the threes? Okay, can't do anything else there. And the sevens are limited now in row six to block six, so that's not a seven. Okay, and looking across row seven now, don't see anything there. Row eight, only one two. Which makes sense. The two twos there, the twos come across, and I saw that for a two. And now I'm in row nine. There's only one, one across row nine, so I can solve that for a one. And then I'm looking across the rest of row nine. Can't see anything else I need to solve there. Now I'm gonna kind of do a quick peek, see if there's any kind of pairs that I may have missed or something I could follow up on when I made a few of these solved cells before. Don't see anything that I can do right now. Let's see here. I'm looking, I'm looking. Okay, let's go on to the candidate filtering. Nothing I can do with the ones. Move on to the twos. I do have a finned X-wing. That's what I see first with the twos. I'll show you that real quick. There's the X-Wing, here's the fin. So you can see in these, you know, rows two and four, uh, there would be an X-Wing pattern here if it wasn't for this fin. So either the fin is true, and this guy right here will not be a two, because it's in the same block as the base set, or the fin is false, and you have an X-Wing. In both cases, that two right there in this column three would not be uh, applicable, right? Okay, basically there's going to be a two between one of these three places. So you can eliminate two in a spot that all three of these see, which is right there. All right, cool. And could have seen it as a finned X-Wing actually going across those column one and nine as well. It would have done the same thing for us. All right, move on to threes. What do I see with the threes? I see another finned X-Wing. I'll show you that one. Oops, do, let's do this, 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 okay, and then where's the fin? Maybe you can see it, it's right here. All right, so there's, excuse me on that, I don't think that's the, that's not the fin I'm looking for, the fin's right here. And so we're eliminating the three right there. Sorry about that. That can't be a three. Okay. Moving on to, let's see if there's anything else here. Nope. Let's move on to the fours. A couple of fin X wings. That's kind of fun. Anything I'm going to solve here? I'm looking to see if there's some kind of like swordfish type thing. I don't see it. Let's move on to the fives. Um, huh. Uh, nothing with the fives. Go on to the sixes. 
I don't see anything with the sixes right now. Let's move on to the sevens. Okay, I feel like I have something here. What is it? What is it that I see? No, maybe there's nothing. Okay, move on to the eights. Some interesting patterns. Uh, and so I, I'm kind of looking through to make sure I don't miss anything simple here. And no, I don't I don't have anything else that I can solve with the eights. Move on to the nines. What do we have to the nines? I got a pointing pair of nines right here, right? And so this can't be a nine. We have uh I'm just kind of looking here. I don't know what the nines. And let's go to the, okay, plenty of bi-value cells, which is nice. So plenty of cans that we've seen, this is good. Okay, immediately what I see, and I think I missed this before, is you have a naked pair, four and an eight. So that means that can't be an eight, and that can't be an eight, which gives us a five, seven, nine. And we know the nines are limited right there. Okay, so that kind of popped out at me. Um, what else do I see? Any pairs? And now I'm looking for W wings. I'm looking for pairs that match. I'm looking for X, Y wings, right? Something of interest here. Nine, three, three to two, two to five, five to four, four to three. Yeah. That doesn't give me anything. Just look at that. Feel like there's something here. Just gotta find it. Nine, six, six to seven, six, eight, six, seven. Is there a seven, eight? No, it's over here. That doesn't help us. One, six, five, six. Nothing there. Four, six, six, eight. Looking for a four, eight. The four eights are up there and there. Five, eight, eight, four. Hmm. I feel like there's something there. I'm going, to, I'm going to spend a little bit more time on this one because I do feel like there's something here. Six nine six nine. So I'm going to look here real quick to see if there's uh, a W wing, which you could eliminate six right there. So what I want to look at is if there's a strong link between these nine somehow, and the answer is no. So. That's not going to help us. Okay, so now I want to look at this eight, seven, eight, six, seven. It's a six, eight right there. Huh. I think seven, five, five, six. Oh, we're so close. Okay, okay. Nine, six, six, four. The four doesn't loop into anything. One, six, six, five. The five doesn't loop into anything. Is there another one? Okay, one, six, six, seven. That's seven. One, six, six, nine. And I say loop in is like I can't connect that candidate to another cell right off the bat. Four, six, six, eight. Nope. Four, six, six, five. Wow, I feel like I'm just dancing all around it. There's a lot going on here. Connecting to this nine here. One, two, two, three, three, four. Four, five, five, two. It doesn't go any further than that. Okay, I'm gonna brief look through here again to see if I missed something simple. Uh, let's see here. Two, two. Okay, nothing with the fend X wing action that we haven't already marked. Nothing with this fend X wing. Nothing with that fend X wing. Hmm. Okay, the fours. 
And I skipped over this one before because I didn't see anything. Now I'm seeing if there's going to be something here. You know, there's a nice strong link across column two. Not helping us solve anything from it though. Five. Okay, I got a pointy pair of fives. That's going to help a little bit. I might have missed that before. Sorry if I did. But that four seven eight's not really helping too much. Um, four five eight. Nothing there. Okay, sixes. One six one six eight. Is there? Now I'm looking for X Y Z wing. If there's something I can play to get to that. Don't see anything else with the sixes. Go to sevens. I feel like I've missed something here, maybe on the sevens, but I don't know what it is. Strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. Yeah, nothing there. Strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. Hmm. I'm looking at an empty rectangle type configurations. I don't see unique rectangles. The sevens, the eights. Interesting the way the eights look. Do I have, you know, I thought that would be like more bend X wings, but there's not. And that's okay. You know, I, a tendency with these setters, a lot of times they'll put in things repeatedly to kind of like, hey, this is the trick. This is the technique you need to find to crack this one open. Not the case. I mean, it helped, but it didn't crack it. Okay, okay. Now I'm looking here to see if there's another little easy peasy fin X-wing type situation. Boom, boom, nope. Wait, okay, I'm looking. Uh, nothing. Okay, so huh, back to here. Didn't mean to lose all the momentum here. I thought I saw a pseudocope situation that I could apply, but I do not. It's not working out for me. No worries. We will figure this out. Maybe there's another place to do this. Two, four, six, eight. No, I'm looking for pseudocope type, which is you'd have uh, four cells coming out, meeting a, a bi-value cell. I thought I had something here, but it's not not working out uh, in a way that I can easily explain, which is fine. So it can't be right. Four eight four six eight. Five six eight six nine. Four six five six. Okay. I think I might have to do the Christmas tree on this one. I'm just missing something here. No worries. It'll become apparent. I have a feeling I might end up finding a hidden pair by doing this. That is not a strong link. Here we go. I have done a tutorial on this. I will post a link in case you want to see the AIC Type 1 tutorial. It's probably the best explanation of why I am all these strong links that I'm coloring right now. It's because it's going to help me see the strong and weak links. One of the reasons why I do the coloring. Alrighty, I'm seeing a lot of multiple colors in the same cell, which tells me there's good there's a good chance we're gonna have AIC type one. Nothing good with that. Let's go to the six. Any spots where there's just two sixes connected, don't see it. Let's go to sevens. Uh, 
Seven's there. Seven's here. And seven is up column seven. Okay. Eight. Uh, two. Whoop. Get this pair of eights right there. And let's see the other eights. Nines. There's a couple of nines. Nines. Nines connected to that seven. That's promising. Nine are coming across row four, across row six. And none of these are, oh, here we go. They're coming down column eight. Okay, hang on the bye bye cells. Now I'm going to see where is the connection that I'm missing. Where is it? There's a lot going on right here, which I knew about. Uh, maybe something to do with these sevens? Hmm. Interesting. So I'm kind of following, you know, I see there's a lot of connections here. I feel like this block three is kind of the key. And so I got to think what's feeding into block three that's going to help me solve. And you have a one here that kind of runs through the, the gamut, which might help. So if I went strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, Uh, weak, strong, is that, is that it? Yeah, weak, strong, strong. Okay, let's see here. Strong, weak, strong. Yep, there's only two threes. Weak, strong, yep. Weak, strong. So, start there, in there. This is one, it's not a one, that's one. So, this isn't a one. That's not a one, and we can solve for six here. We can solve for nine here, and I think we're kind of on our on our way here. Nice little AIC type one is what I saw to crack this puzzle. Let's get rid of all these, and that's it. Yeah, this one's this one's in the record book, people. Uh, nice, nice job. I, I like this one. I, thank you, Pietato. I think you mentioned there might just be one particular trick to solve some of your puzzles. No exception here. I enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Did you get stuck? Did you do a different method? I bet there was other things you could use to solve this puzzle. Uh, in the meantime, if you want to watch some other of my videos, check these out. Thank you so much, Pietato. Let me feature your puzzles on my channel. Come back and check out some more of my videos. Thank you all so much for watching.